West back with another video and today um, I talked about this on another video but we're gonna go over it again um, this is uh, basically taking good pics for your Instagram or possibly to send a new pet owner um, this is one option this is the fastest way right here so what you're gonna need is a selfie stick also you're gonna need an iPhone a phone because you could use Android too as you can see I'm gonna show you all how to do it on an Android or an iPhone all right so what you want to do is you want to hook your selfie stick up y'all see it don't got to be the best selfie stick mine is broke I got a rig but it still works you know what I'm saying so hook your, hook your phone up to the selfie stick go to video when you get to your video you see your iPhone will have these options HD 30 what you want to do is you want to tap the HD till it says 4k and then you want to tap the 30 until it says 60 now you in 60 frames per second this is for slow motion guys you want it to be 60 frames per second because uh, well it'll all make sense on this next step right here so this is how you do it on the iPhone and let me show you how to do it on the Android all right, now on your Android, guys, as you can see right here in the corner, it says UHD. So it'll probably start with an HD 30, like this here. And just like the iPhone, you click on it and then you go down to the UHD 60, which is the best quality 60 frames per second, as you can see. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, I'll show you right now. I'll give you an example. So now that you got your camera settings correct now what you want to do is you want to extend your selfie stick so you don't have to bend over if you're tall like me I'm about 6'3 so you can't just be out here bending over though every single time now I do do that with this camera y'all looking at right now as far as video but as far as pictures I don't have to bend down all right y'all so as you can see follow the dog around Make sure everything is even and slowly follow your dog around for about two or three minutes. Um, that should be a good good enough time for you to get some great poses. Look at him right there. He just stuck. You just record this. You get all these great poses slowly. Get every angle. Try to go around the dog so you can get every angle. Drop the seat. I'm gonna come uh, y'all come over here. I'm gonna go do this a little bit more so we can get some, some better shots. All right, y'all, so now you got your footage. And what you want to do is you want to go into your phone. You want to find the video. And let me see. You want to pull it up. You don't let it play. So you pause it. Push play again, pause so the video stretches out. Now you slowly skim through the footage. This is why you wanted it to be 60 frames per second, so it'll be nice and slow, so you can pick the best image. And then right about there, that's a good pick. Snap, snap a pick right there. Screenshot, and you edit. It's in 4K, so you can bring the uh, close up a little bit. There you go, and then you hit done and you save. And 
then you keep it going. That was one pick. Got another one right there. That's a good pick, y'all, right there. Screenshot. Bam, bam. Save it. Keep it going. There's another one right there. Um, that's why it's good to go all the way around the dog with the camera so you can get some people want to see the rear some people want to see the tail some people want to see you know the front end of the dog everything you want to just get that's why i said two or three minutes should be good you can cipher through that's a good pick this is also helpful if you got a uh, a super active hyper dog you know if you're trying to take pics and stay in one spot that's going to take forever y'all this is the fastest way see I got him on the other side here bam if it's in 4k you can do you can crop and get real close if this was 1080 it, it would get a little blurry when you close up like that so yes sir this is the same exact uh, method that you use on your Android do the same thing and you slowly cipher through while you uh, look for the best pick y'all Basically, that's how you do it. That's how you do, um, you know, the best quality pics for your Instagram for customers asking for more pics. You know, if you might be busy, uh, you might not have time to sit outside for two, three hours taking 300 pics. Um, you know, this is the fastest method. All you need is about two or three minutes of footage from your dog. Like, you need more pics. If you don't have that much time, you go to work. Um, do a whole 20 minutes on Sunday, you know, of different areas in the front yard, backyard, wherever at the park, and you'll have pics for days, guys, using this method, all right? So there's one more step after this. Um, there's other people who take professional pics, like uh, out here in Houston, there's a dude named Bully Magazine. I think that's what it's called, Bully Magazine. He, he charges like 100 and some change, and he'll have your pics looking uh, a little bit more professional where they use editing software to make sure they blur the background out and do all the extra stuff um, I'll show you some examples on the camera right here professional pictures from other people but like I said this is for if you need to send some good quality pics to a customer or if you need to post on Instagram like if you post on Instagram frequently your uh, dogs gotta have good quality pics y'all you know you can't be posting your dogs in a cage I mean you can but I'm just saying you might not want to post your dogs in the cage. You might not want to post them in some filthy background, dirty garage or some shit or something like that. So you want to, you know, get you some good quality pics real fast without taking all the memory up on your memory card, without taking four hours. You can uh, go ahead and uh, apply this method here, man. Like I said, with Android and iPhone, y'all. So um, that's pretty much that's it. This uh, video is inspired by my man, Court Curry. Yeah, man, so I was explaining it, like I said, on the older video, but I didn't go into detail like this, so this is for everybody. I just want to, um, you know, give some helpful tips out there, so I thought, why not just put it in the video for him instead of trying to explain it to him over the phone or texting and all that, so you can see exactly how it's done, so yeah, y'all, stay tuned to the next scene. We got a little Maya coming up. We about to bring her out, give y'all an update on her, all right? Peace. Well, as you can see, we got a Maya update. She just sitting here chilling, doing her thing. Let's see, how about how old is Maya now? Y'all remember? I think she about a solid four, maybe five. Wait a minute, now nah, I'll take that back. She's six. Yeah, it's six months. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Our girl Maya looking good she had a healthy weight i know she's a little hungry right now but she's good she had a healthy weight she's not overweight see she looking good she's still compact i thought she would be a little longer than this honestly but you know you can never tell some puppies are perfect some you know take after the mom some take after the dad 
some are a perfect mix of both mom and dad, you know what I mean? So, see her, she's still compact, still little, still blue and tan. You know what I'm saying? Looking real good. But yeah, y'all, I thought she would be a little taller. I'm glad to see she's staying small like this. Staying short, staying compact. This is perfect. She will be the new face of the kennel. If y'all was wondering, we got her mom on the face right now. We got Blue Sun's dad as the face of the kennel still. And we got Lou Ferrigno up there. This is which is her dad. This is a uh, Cardi Times Lou Ferrigno right here, if y'all was wondering. So we hit a uh, we hit a black try with a heavy blue, heavy chocolate carrier. And we hit him with a fine black mask. For those who don't know that uh, all fine and black masks carry the E-Locust gene, that's the cream. And uh, also, uh, her grandpa is the chocolate and tan. That's where her dad gets that chocolate from. And her mom carries that blue as well. Strong blue coming out of mom and dad. <clears throat> and uh, this was the only try in the litter. So we had like a, I think it was a ghost try in that other litter. No, this is the only one, yeah. We had one try. Y'all can go back in my videos and see uh, Maya when she was a puppy fresh out the litter from uh, what week one all the way till now she was out of a litter of five and everyone made it everyone survived yes sir so as y'all can see she is still small man still looking good y'all thought she was gonna be tall I know y'all thought she was gonna be long she is perfect y'all look at that perfect little puppy yes sir perfect weight look at that nose nose not too short yes sir she is looking good y'all I am very happy the way she turned out or the way she's turning out that is because she got a lot more to grow some Frenchies don't get mature till about two years y'all like Blue Sun's dad he didn't really get mature till about two years I remember I tried to breed him at one he wasn't ready yet yeah but you know and then you know you have some other dogs like Lou Ferrigno who was ready I bred him at eight months so on the dog yes sir Maya will be with us at the show at the swing in the rain on February 26th if y'all in town y'all tap in that'll be in Humble Texas um I've been trying to uh, train her on the stack box but I don't know if I'm gonna uh, put her in the show as a uh, you know six month female or something like that. I might do it, I don't know. Cause she's just a clean, clean puppy as y'all can see. Very clean, she doesn't have any flaws except for the fact that she's hungry right now. She's a smart dog. And her dad will be in the show, that's for sure. Yep, yep. Got dad and daughter. But yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. This is TBK West. I'm out of here. Just a quick little update for y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do. Y'all stay tuned to the next one. Appreciate y'all, man. Real talk. Peace, peace.
Gone.